What's up everybody? This is Chris here from East Coast PC and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an interesting leak directly from videocards.com and we possibly have a new incoming AMD chipset called the X570S. Today we're going to talk about what all that means, what it could be for and all that good stuff. But before we get started, if there is anybody that is not subscribed, please make sure y'all get subscribed hit that like button, do all that good YouTube stuff, and we greatly appreciate everybody who has already got subscribed and supported us so far. Thank you, all of y'all so much for all of that. So without further to talk about, let's get started. All right, y'all, so basically what we have, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen so everybody can see it, is we this leak from videocards.com states that eight AMD X570S motherboards has made their way through the EEC, which is the Iranian Economic Commission. I always say that wrong, but, but anyway, it's, that's besides the point. So we get a lot of leaks that come through there. For some reason, I, I don't know if they just make everything public or how it exactly works, but almost all of our new products, GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, almost everything leaks through there first, and we, we always get a sneak peek at it. So basically, it's saying Gigabyte uh, registered eight X570S motherboards, including the X570S Master, and basically a new revision on a lot of their popular motherboards. So, what could this new motherboard be for? And you know, when is it coming out? And why are they releasing another X570 revision? Well, uh, there's a lot of speculation in the community. Nobody knows for certain, but it's it's certainly exciting. What I think it is is probably the chipset they are going to release when they release the. Uh, either Zen 3 Plus or AMD Ryzen 6000, whatever they call it. Uh, Warhol is the code name. It's still it's supposed to be on six nanometer. Uh, supposedly, that's what we've seen in the slide. Of, again, that's not concrete either. But uh, we're expecting a five to seven performance uplift in these processors. I'm going to stay more of a, probably with about five, as we know, like the, the XT processors from last year that that they were they were basically a waste of sand as uh, a lot of reviewers called them but um anyway i'm expecting about a five percent performance uplift with these processors and it is exciting to know that we could possibly be getting some upgraded chipsets we don't know exactly what the, what will be in these chipsets uh moore's law is dead commented on this very post from videocards.com and he says that the s just stands for silent uh basically he was saying that it, it could be something like my asus x570 dark hero where they just removed the chipset cooling fan uh, um i think that's a very good possibility but i also think that the motherboard manufacturers will probably take the chance to upgrade to a few more features to add on to the chipset maybe like a usb type c gen 2 3.2 by 2 uh, with so you'll have 20 gigabits per second USB-C ports you know just some stuff like that maybe some upgraded Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth 5.1 any of that stuff if any of them motherboards didn't already come with that uh, you know so hopefully we'll get some goodies out of it and hopefully there will be more to come but nevertheless it's, it's very exciting to know that AMD is preparing a new chipset for these uh, all new exciting processors. There probably won't be much of a performance leap, like I said, but for X570 owners like myself and like so many of y'all watching this video, it is exciting to know we possibly have one more refresh, one more drop-in upgrade for our X570 boards, which a lot of people thought that uh, Ryzen 5000 was going to be the end of the line. And the last three or four months, we've been seeing little leaks here and there uh, about and not really knowing if the refresh called Warhol is going to be on AM5 or AM4. Uh, and a leak slide also, it is saying Warhol will be supported by DDR4 and PCI Express 4.0. It does not say anything about DDR5 or PCI Express 5.0. So I am thinking that we are going to be getting Warhol on the AM4 socket. I can't guarantee that. All of this is just leaked. So anyway just stay tuned to the channel make sure y'all get subscribed i will keep up updating y'all with any more leaks that i get and make sure I, I keep everybody informed with the most information to help everybody with their buying decisions some of y'all might want to hold off for new products but uh we'll stay tuned and see what we can find out thank each and every one of y'all get subscribed comment like do all that good youtube stuff and i will see all of y'all soon